Hi, welcome to React with Jax. I'm Jax, and today I'm reacting to Iron Man, Captain America, the first Avenger, Guardians of the Galaxy, The Avengers Age of Ultron, Captain America Civil War, Avengers Infinity War, Avengers Endgame. I can't believe we're here. We're already at this movie. I have been making my way through the Marvel Universe for almost a year now. Every other week I have been watching a Marvel movie and this has just been the most rewarding journey. If you have been on this journey with me, thank you so much. Being able to talk to you in the comments about these movies and connect with you about these characters has honestly been such a joy and it's made this process so much more fun. And these movies are already 10 out of 10, so you know, thank you for being the cherry on top of an already incredible Marvel Sunday. Okay, I have a box of tissues. I'm assuming that I'm gonna need them for this. I'm assuming, oh God, what if it starts off at the funeral? Oh no, okay. We're just gonna get started. I don't wanna get sad before the movie movie has even started. <laughs> so thank you so much for being here. Make sure you subscribe and like this video if you enjoy this content because it really supports my channel and I appreciate it so much. Let's get started. Hold on. Let's Pardon? Shoot. Oh my God, we're starting right away. You see where you're going? Mm-hmm. Okay. Now let's worry about how you get. Is that his daughter? The one who was named after um. Wanda's brother. We saw right. his wife when Three she fingers. was pregnant. Nice. Oh, hello. Oh, no, that's... Nice oh, they have a lot of kids. <laughs> I thought they only had one. Lila, let's go. Lila. Oh, my goodness. So this is right when the snap happened. Gosh, he wasn't even involved in that fight. His whole family's dead. What? There what? has to be some people whose families just didn't die. If his whole family died, there have to be families that are just like, well, we weren't impacted, right? Gosh, the MCU just really hates these characters. <laughs> well, now you have a chance to win. And you've won. Congratulations. Fair game. Wow. She's probably not used to that. Gosh, we are picking up right where the other one left off. If you find this recording, don't post it on social media. It's gonna be a real tearjerker. <laughs> Today's day 21? No, uh, 22. Oxygen will run out tomorrow morning. And that'll be it. Tomorrow morning. If oxygen is gonna run out tomorrow morning, they must already be feeling really tired. I dream about you. I've now gotten teary-eyed twice and we're like three minutes into this movie. Good thing I'm getting shawarma after this. <laughs> Must be strange being in a situation where you can't, you can't do anything. Like these are both people of action who have risked their lives so many times and now their deaths are gonna just be slow They are not gonna kill Iron Man at the start of this movie. I do not believe that. Lammy, do you believe that? We're suspicious. Oh, based on the music, I cannot tell what this is. Good or bad, we don't know. <laughs> well, isn't that convenient? Hello, Steve. I'm still glad you're still alive. Started this journey with you. Is she pushing the ship back to Earth? How long would that take? Because they, they were going to be running out of oxygen. Apparently, it did not take long enough for them to run out of oxygen. I lost again. It's only we lost. It's, uh... Oh, oh my god. <laughs> Gosh, rockets lost everyone. In pieces. Oh. Um, the parts that are still working are trying to take a census and it looks like- Oh, they think Scott's dead. Oh, so no one's gonna save him. He did exactly what he said he was gonna do. Thanos wiped out 
of all living creatures. So it's not just humans. Well, obviously not. There are other alien species, but like I was worried about the dogs and the sheep. <laughs> Thinking about you. <laughs> What's wrong with him? Oh, he's pissed. Everyone's dead. He failed. Oh. I saw this coming a few years back. I had a vision. I didn't want to believe it. I thought I was dreaming. Yeah, you did. That what we needed was a suit of armor around the world. Remember that? Whether it impacted our precious freedoms. That's what I said. You needed something around the world. So I got nothing for you, Cap. No trust. Liar. Wow. I thought they had moved past Civil War. Where are you going? To kill Thanos. She's a little egotistical. <laughs> you even know where he is? I know people who might. Don't bother. I can tell you where Thanos is. <gasps> I keep forgetting that she's still alive. To the garden. That's cute. Thanos has a retirement plan. <laughs> oh, Rhodey. A small chance that we can undo this. I mean, we owe it to everyone who's not in this room to try. So how do we know it's going to end any differently? Can you do that? Because before you didn't have me. Okay. Hey, new girl, everybody in this room is about that superhero life. <laughs> there are a lot of other planets in the universe. And unfortunately, they didn't have you guys. Well, Earth is the most important, so. <laughs> Not to be egotistical myself. <laughs> I like this one. Let's go get this son of a bitch. Yes. Oh, the Avengers. Now we get it. Okay. Endgame. Oh my God. I do like how all of the fragile relationships that were kind of deteriorating at the end of Civil War are still there, you know? Who here hasn't been to space? Mammy has not. You better not throw up on my ship. Well, you should have told us to bring some motion sickness stuff. I would have brought Emetrol. I'll head down for recon. Doesn't she need a mask? Apparently not. Oh. This is gonna work, Steve. I know it will. Gosh, things have gotten so much more complicated since that first movie. Well, for me, the first movie was Captain America. Well, isn't that beautiful? That's his house. Okay, if I had those magical gems, I would have created a mansion. <laughs> we already talked about what my planet would look like in Guardians of the Galaxy 2. Is he injured? Wow. You did it! 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 You cut off his arm. Ho! Oh. Where are the stones? The stones serve no purpose beyond temptation. You should be grateful. I'm sorry, did he get rid of the stones? Reduced to atoms. You used them two days ago. We use the stones to destroy the stones. Oh my gosh. I am inevitable. Okay. I don't know how to process that. Thanos is dead at the start of this movie. He destroyed the stones. He is the strangest bad guy. I, he does not want like, he he's so evil and he was so murderous. And now he's just living all by himself after having corrected the universe. Most evil leaders want to like rule the world. What? Five years later. 
I do not understand this movie. <sighs> okay. Oh, were y'all freaking out? Five years. What did you talk about? Nah, same old crap, you know, how things have changed and how much we miss the Mets. I mean, he cried as they were serving the salads. I'm crying and you're just talking about salad. <laughs> and I cried just before dessert. Well, yeah, because <laughs> it's dessert and it's delicious. I went in the ice in 45 right after I met the love of my life. Woke up 70 years later. You gotta move on. Doesn't seem like he's moved on. Otherwise, Thanos should have killed all of us. It is so weird seeing a villain win, you know? Like, I don't think I've ever seen a story that has this storyline in it. And it's, it, this is mind-blowing. I love that Steve kind of recreated what Sam did after Sam the Falcon came back from the war. He like started a support group and now you see him doing that as well. <gasps> oh my God, Scott, you got out. Oh my God, he's been in there for five years. How did a rat just magically get you out of there? Oh, they saved everybody's stuff. Gosh. These are like little mausoleums. Oh, you're so smart, Scott. He doesn't know anything that happened. That would be tough, man. Look at all this. Do you think they're handling this the way that it would actually happen if half the planet just suddenly disappeared? Part of me feels like if they had done all of this, the world would look a little bit more rebuilt. But I don't know, maybe making a kind of memorial would be one of the first things people did. Please, no, Cassie. Oh, that's so scary. Although technically, people could have your name too. Okay, one of his family members has to be alive. At least one of them. Is that his wife? Is that Cassie? Oh my God, she's so old. That would be so crazy. Has she just been on her own? She was so little when all that happened. What do you do as like a little kid? You're so big. <laughs> I feel like I'm crying more in this movie than I did in the movie where everybody actually died. The uh, Federales found a room full of bodies. Looks like a bunch of cartel guys never even had a chance to get their guns off. It's definitely Barton. Will you find out where he's going next? Nat? Please. I think I'm just going to be crying this whole movie, so... I feel you, girl. You know, I'd offer to cook you dinner, but you seem pretty miserable already. <laughs> I'll cook. <laughs> you know, I saw a pot of whales when I was coming over the bridge. In the Hudson? It's fewer ships, cleaner water. Ah. Uh, Thanos. He was not right, but it would be cool if there was less pollution. But he is not right. I used to have nothing. And then I got this, and I was, I was better because of it. I think we both need to get a light. You first. You can learn how to cook. This is uh, Scott Lang. We met a few years ago. And man, and man, I know you know, I know you know that. It's the front gate. The quantum realm is like its own microscopic universe. To get in there, you have to be incredibly small. Hope, she's my um, dead girlfriend. For me, it was five hours. What? See, the rules of the quantum realm aren't like they are up here. Everything right. is unpredictable. Is that anybody's sandwich? I'm starving. 
It's only been five hours since you've eaten, Scott. <laughs> what if there was a, a way that we could enter the quantum realm at a certain point in time, but then exit the quantum realm at another point in time? Like time travel. Like before Thanos. Oh. Wait, are you talking about a time machine? No. A time realm. It's like a time van, because it's all in your van. So who do we talk to about this? Tony Stark. This is Tony, right? <laughs> That's a beautiful house. That is so isolated. Gosh, I never would have thought Tony would want to live in such an isolated place. He's always been such a people person. Morgan H. Stark, you want some lunch? Define lunch or be okay. integrated. You should not be wearing that, okay? That is part of a special anniversary gift for your mom. Oh. Tony has a daughter? You like going in the garage, huh? So does daddy. It's fine, actually. Mom never wears anything I wear. <laughs> Have they ever met his daughter? Really Quantum impossible. fluctuation messes with the Planck scale, which then triggers the Deutsch proposition. Can we agree on that? Sure. You accidentally survived. It's a billion to one cosmic fluke. You do it again. And now you want to pull up. Doctor Strange, Doctor Strange said there was only one option. There was only one option. A billion and one still seems like one option. I believe the most likely outcome will be our collective demise. Not if we strictly follow the rules of time travel. There are rules. There's no betting on sporting events. I'm going to stop you. Are you seriously telling me that your plan to save the universe is based on Back to the Future? <laughs> Now, we have a chance to bring her back, to bring everyone back. And you're telling me that you won't even- That's right, Scott, I won't. If Tony goes back in time, his daughter wouldn't exist anymore, right? I mean, how do they know that she would ever exist? Well, he's scared. He's not wrong. Yeah, but I mean, what, what, are we, what are we gonna do? We need him, what are we gonna stop? Who else exists? The people from Ant-Man and the Wasp, are they still around? Come on, I feel like I'm the only one eating here. Try some of that. Have some eggs. I'm so confused. These are confusing times. Oh my God. I know, it's crazy. Yeah. I'm wearing shirts now. Oh, yeah. that's the crazy part. What? 18 months in a gambler. I put the brains and the bra on together. Excuse me, Mr. Holt? Yes. Can we, can we get a photo? 100% little person. Little person. Oh, yeah, thanks. Say green. 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 Did you get that? Make sure no one blinked. Do you want to grab one with me? They're Hulk fans. Wait, they don't know no, Ant-Man. No. Oh, he well, nobody bad. does. Nobody does. Gotcha. I he don't want to take, take a picture with them. Stranger danger. I don't want a picture with them. But you're yeah. going to feel bad. <laughs> Sorry. I'm happy to. They said they'll do it. I don't want to. Mean, no, no, no. no, you, you feel Sorry. bad. Take the goddamn phone. <laughs> So the Hulk wouldn't come out, and now he's just out permanently. This is wild. Yeah, guys, it's outside of my area of expertise. Well, you pulled this off. I remember a time when that seemed pretty impossible, too. They don't seem that surprised. Scott seems surprised, but they don't. Did they know? 18 months in a gamma lab, so he must have been doing a lot of experiments on himself. OK. It is kind of cool to see the evolution of the Hulk from the the Incredible Hulk and then in Thor Ragnarok how the Hulk had obviously like developed a bit, his relationship with Banner changed, and now we see that they're both at peace with one another. Peter Parker, you're gonna do this for Peter Parker. <laughs> Don't repeat that. What up, little miss? Shit. Oh! No, we don't say that. Only mommy says that word. She coined it. <laughs> you done? Yeah? Now you are. Here, wait. She needs to brush her teeth. Otherwise, she'll get cavities. Uh, once upon a time, we're going to to bed, Dan. That is a horrible story. Come on, that's your favorite story. Yes, it is. It's horrible. He is such a good dad. We got really lucky. Yeah. I know. A lot of people didn't. 
No, I can't help everybody. That's what I said. Barton lost everyone. You guys still had each other. I wish we could get some kind of information as to whether or not going back in time would impact whether or not their daughter still exists, because I imagine that most parents wouldn't want to take that risk. But, I mean, that's a really tough call. You could potentially bring everyone back. That's just so wild to me. That's so wild. We saw those people die, and now it's just going to be, like, undone. I have no idea, man. We're talking about time travel here. Either it's all a joke or none of it is. We're good. If they fail, though, like, if they can do time travel and then they fail, can't they just, like, do it again? Once they understand time travel, they can just keep time traveling. Two. One. Can I get a little space? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Bring what? What kind of an impact would this have on you? Oh, my God. You cannot send it's a baby. baby. It's Scott. As a baby. But He'll grow. Now you're just doing experiments on a little baby. Somebody peed my pants. <laughs> but I don't know if it was baby me or old me. Or just me. me. <laughs> just me. That was, that was actually very impressive. I, I see this as an absolute win. I do too. That was amazing. No, Can you do that? Nope. So no judgment is coming from me because I couldn't do it. Is that Tony <laughs> just driving like a crazy person? Oh! You got very close to Cap. A fully functioning time space GPS. You need to make like 10 of I those. Just want peace. Bring back what we lost? I hope, yes. Keep what I found, have to, at all costs. And maybe not die trying. Oh! Tony, I don't know. Why? I made it for you. Plus, honestly, I have to get out of the garage before Morgan takes it sledding. <laughs> they made up. That was a really beautiful scene. Wow. Oh, not the taco. It's awesome. Brody, careful on reentry. There's an idiot in the landing zone. <laughs> this is a wild movie. Oh my gosh. Banner is just like the chillest guy. What is he even called now? The, the, the Banner Hulk? Welcome to New Asgard. Okay. Okay. Because Asgard was destroyed, so this is where Thor is then. You shouldn't have come. Ah, Valkyrie. Great to see you. She's still alive? He won't see you. Is that bad, huh? We only see him once a month when he comes in for supplies. It's almost like he's doing exactly what Valkyrie did when she was on Sakaar. Getting drunk and hiding out. What the? Woo! Something died in here. Hope. Hope died. Oh, he's... He's gotten a little out of shape. It's not necessary. Oh, Hulk, you know, uh, you know my friends? Me, Kong, right? Hey, hey boys. guys. Look. I can't believe they're all still alive. Oh, he's back. That kid on the TV just called me a dickhead again. I'm gonna fly over to your house, rip off your arms, and shove them up your butt. Oh, that's right. Just go cry to your father, you little weasel. How do you know he even has a dad? His dad could have died. Oh, my God. Buddy, you all right? No, you're not okay. There might be a chance we could fix everything, like <laughs> Thanos. Mm. Why, would he, why would I be scared of that guy? I'm the one who killed that guy, remember? Anyone else here killed that guy? So why did you ask the Asgardians how much my help is worth? 
The ones that are left, anyway. I think we could bring them back. All of them? I'm curious who they're talking about bringing back. Loki was killed by Thanos, but differently than from the snap. So could they bring Loki back as well? Because in Tokyo... Banner. I mean, Barton. Uh, he just lost everything. Well, after Infinity War, I certainly was angry, if we remember the stages of grief that I went through in that movie. <laughs> I'm in the anger stage of grief. Which part is the comfort eating of grief? <laughs> This has been a really emotional journey. I feel tricked. We're just, we're just flipping back and forth between tears, anger, and laughter. And I wasn't even the one going through it, so. So would that guy come back? If they brought everyone back? We found something. A chance. Maybe. Don't. Don't what? Don't give him hope. Don't give me hope. I love when I know the line. <laughs> he looks like a blonde Santa Claus. Drifting left. One side there, Lebowski. Or a Lebowski. <laughs> I haven't seen the big Lebowski, but I know it from like pop cultural references. These are pin particles, all right? This is it. This is what we have. We've got enough for one round trip each. That's it. Oh. Plus two test runs. Oh. Holy mother of the Hulk. You just wasted it. You just wasted it. Why? Why don't we just find baby Thanos, you know, and... First of all, that's horrible. Is it though? Yes. Changing the past doesn't change the future. Look, we go back, we get the stones before Thanos gets them. Thanos doesn't have the stones. Changing the past doesn't change the future? Could have fooled me. Do you agree with that? Time after time. Quantum leap, wrinkle in time, somewhere in time. Hot tub time machine. Hot tub time machine. Bill and Ted's excellent adventure. Die Hard? Die Hard was like the only movie out of those I've seen. Think about it. If you travel to the past, that past becomes your future and your former present becomes the past. So Back to the Future is a bunch of bullshit. <laughs> I, um, how do we feel about this? My very accurate time travel information all came from like, I guess, yeah, I saw Back to the Future when I was a kid. Guess we'll, guess we'll not know until time travel becomes a thing. Where are my How do you not break down in tears and just want to hug everyone? No, 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 no. Oh, he is going to be way too emotionally unstable to handle all of this. I don't think I would have been able to like handle that and just been emotionally fine. Work. <laughs> Work. Time heist. Space stone, power stone. Now we got to figure out the when and the where. You have to find all the infinity stones all over again? And these stones have been in a lot of different places throughout history. Yeah, it took us every Marvel movie just to get here. Let's start with the ether. Thor, what do you know? The ether, the dark elves. My grandfather many years ago had to hide the stone from the dark elves. Scary being so Jane. Is she dead? And so I had to take her to Asgard, which is where I'm from, and uh, we had to try and. <laughs> Scott, he's trying so hard to be a good listener. That's, that's awesome. Eggs, breakfast? Mm, no, I'd like a Bloody Mary. Okay, so Thor's doing the worst emotionally. 
then Barton. Look at that ice cream. All that food. What is Vormir? Dominion of death, the very center of celestial existence. Not it. <laughs> I wouldn't want to go there either. <laughs> if you pick the right ear, there are three stones in New York. You are so smart. Yeah, you're so smart. Six stones, three teams, one shot. Oh my gosh, this is so amazing. Okay, I didn't know they were all gonna bring like time travel into this. Today we have a chance to take it all back. You know your teams, you know your missions. <laughs> we'll do overs. Most of us are going somewhere we know. That doesn't mean we should know what to expect. Yeah. This is the fight of our lives, and we're gonna win. Whatever it takes. Captain always has the best speeches. Promise to bring that back in one piece, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, I'll do my best. This promise is good, that was pretty lame. <laughs> I agree, Rocket. See you in a minute. See you in a minute. Oh, I love that line. They have been training for this since the first Marvel movie. I love how much they've taken the time to develop all these relationships. This has been such a joyful experience. I've never experienced anything like this series. New York, 2012, 2012. So the alien attack, this is when Loki was alive. <laughs> They were going to nuke the city. Oh my gosh. I don't think I'll ever be able to watch Avengers the same, knowing that they came back in time to here. She was helping? She was helping. We didn't even know she existed. I love her. The ancient one. Yeah, I'm looking for Dr. Strange. <gasps> She's wearing the eye. Why? You don't want to do this. Uh, you're right, I don't. But I need that stone and I don't have time to debate. <laughs> wow. It's... It's Banner coming out of him. Start over, shall we? Why is she wearing the eye? Jane. Oh, Thor. Oh, and it's gonna be your mom, too. If nothing you do in the past can change the future, then couldn't you just run up to your mom and give her a big hug? I would do that if nothing I did would change anything. Because it would make me feel better. I feel like I'm losing it. <laughs> Get it together. You can do this. You can do this. Considering that he blames himself for not killing Thanos, because he did have the chance to kill Thanos before the finger snap. And he had seen all of his people die, and his dad died, and his brother died. Like, this was not good to bring Thor to this place. So this is the same place that Quill went at the start of Guardians of the Galaxy. And he kicked one of those little animal things too. Coordinates for Vormir are laid in. All they have to do is not fall out. Wait, Barton and Natasha are going to Vormir? Why would they go together? No, that sucks. No, they're okay. They're just gonna do something. We're not the only ones in 2014 looking for the stones. Wait a minute, what are, you, what are you talking about right now? Who else is looking for these stones? Thanos. We're not the only ones in 2014 looking for the stones. What? Who was that? Bring her to my ship. Wow, even Gamora looked freaked out for her. What was that? 
If she's a cyborg mostly, then perhaps her machine's not capable of like being in different times? We're the same to you. I'll have that drink now. Oh my gosh. That suit did nothing for your ass. I think you look great, Cap. As far as I'm concerned, that's America's ass. That's America's ass! Oh, this guy! <gasps> All the Hydra agents. Way down, coordinate search and rescue. On my way down to coordinate search and rescue. I mean, honestly, how do you keep your food shut? There's a power stone. All right, flick me. Oh, because he doesn't have any ants to help him fly. Head to the lobby. All right, I'll see you there. Evidence secure. We're en route to Dr. List. An elevator. They all attacked Steve in an elevator once. Now it's his turn. Captain, I thought you were coordinating search and rescue. This is wild. It's a recreation of what happened in Captain America, the Winter Soldier. I'm low. I just got a call from the secretary. I'm going to be running point on the scepter. Hey, Hydra. <gasps> oh my God. Oh my God. Oh, oh my God. That was so genius. Yeah, that is a lot of stairs. Can't you just jump to the bottom? That's, I'm, I'm, my mind is blown. Wow. Oh, hello, Tony. I'm going inside you. Now. <laughs> I'm going inside you. <laughs> I ask you where you're going. The lunch and then Asgard. I'm sorry, you are. The lunch? Pierce. And then <gasps> they're getting shawarma. I'm getting shawarma today. You promise me you won't die? Speak. We're only giving me a mild cardiac dysrhythmia. That doesn't sound mild. Tony, willing to put his body in danger to save other people. Pull it, pull it, pull it, Scott. Scott? <laughs> Oh my God, oh my God. That is seriously terrifying. Good job, meet me in the alley, I'm gonna grab a quick slice. Oh, no! No, 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 Bruce? No, Loki, no, mm-mm. Oh! He just took it, he just took it. Oh no. I have eyes on Loki. Oh, <gasps> he thinks it's Loki. He thinks it's Loki. No, are they just gonna lose everything? <laughs> this is why you need a code word I with yourself. I can do yourself. this all day. Do you have a code word with yourself? I do. I created it when I was like 11 in the event that I ever met me again. I actually do have one, and I have never told anyone about it. <laughs> Only Lammy knows my code word. And then if you ever meet yourself, you can say your code word and or the phrase that you have created. Bucky is alive! Oh! Oh my god! Oh my... That is America's ass. <laughs> Strange, he gave it away. He gave it to Thanos. Willingly? Yes. Why? I have no idea. Maybe he made a mistake. Or maybe he didn't. Oh, this guy. Ugh. I knew he had too much of an easy death before. Of course, we're seeing him again. Oh, you're gonna- Run diagnostics. Show me her memory file. Okay, they talked about the past and the present and all of it. Another nebula. Impossible. This duplicate carries a timestamp from nine years in the future. Uh-oh. Look, it's memories for infinity stones. 
Oh no. No. Scan the duplicate's memories. I want to see everything. This sucks. This sucks. As if they didn't have enough problems, now the villain knows their entire plan. What are you doing? <gasps> oh. The future hasn't been kind to you, has it? I mean, totally from the future. <laughs> that is exactly what Thor needed. A hug from your mom to tell you everything is going to be okay right before you try and defeat Thanos. His head was over there. His body over there. Oh, you're telling her everything. <laughs> Some idiot with an axe. No, you're no idiot. You're here, aren't you? Seeking counsel from the wisest person in Asgard. <laughs> well, Ma, I have to tell you something. No, son, you don't. You're here to repair your future, not mine. Oh, she knows. Oh, no, wait. What, what am I looking at? Oh, sometimes it takes a second. Are you getting Mjolnir back? <laughs> I'm still worthy. Oh, he got Mjolnir back. Best soundtrack in the MCU. So he's an idiot. Yeah. <laughs> There's gonna be a bunch of booby traps. Okay. No, All right. The Go booby ahead. traps would be Ronan's people. Because Ronan's people were coming. Oh my god. She just goes for it. Gotta hand it to Nebula. I wasn't always like this. Me either. But we work with what we got, right? Come on. Three. Go, two, go, go, one. go, 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 go. Oh, no. No, no. 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 I use the stones to destroy the stones. I am inevitable. You are annoying. Sweetheart, you no. need to get back to your own time. He knows. <gasps> get back to your own time. Thanos knows. Get back to your time. Just... Why can't she just use her thing and go back? If you just go into the future, I'm sure everything will be fine. Sorry, buddy, we got a problem. He said that we had one shot. This, this was our- The pin particles are in this time. You can find more pin particles, right? There's another way to retake the Tesseract and acquire new particles. You trust me, I do. So they just used the last of their pin particles. I thought in 2000 and what was that, 12, there were pin particles. <laughs> Was that Stan Lee? I thought he was... I didn't think he was in any more movies. So... This was the place we saw in... in, um, Winter Soldier. And also, Captain America, the first movie, right? You knew here. Not exactly. I'm still reeling over the fact that that was Stan Lee. I thought, I didn't know Stan Lee had another cameo in here. <laughs> Aren't you in there? Aren't you? Hurry up, hurry up. The door's this way, pal. <gasps> oh, I'm looking for Dr. Zola, have you seen him? Dr. Zola, that's Howard. That's Howard Stark, that's Howard. Well, I'm uh, Howard Stark. Shake that, don't pull it. Whammy. Hello, Potts. Yeah. Let it be swamp. That way. Okay. Need your briefcase? Oh! 
Tony, you almost forgot it. This is Pim's research lab. To be honest, some of our male guys aren't feeling that great. They didn't open it, did they? Uh, yeah, they did. You better get down here. He looks so young. My goodness. Good job, Steve. Pim particles to send you home. Uh, my wife's expecting. And uh, too much time at the office. Tony, are you going to be born today? I have a little girl. A girl would be nice. Less of a chance she'd turn out exactly like me. What would be so awful about that? No, he couldn't be born today because he'd know it was his birthday. There's the two of them look fishy. Can you describe them? Well, one of them had a hippie beard. A hippie, like a hippie beard. <laughs> a hippie beard. Oh. What? What does it say? Is that her? That'd be so tough. Are you nervous? I literally pieced it together as I went along. I thought about what my dad did and my old man, he never met a problem he couldn't solve with a belt. Oh. You know, he did drop the odd pearl. Yeah? Like what? No amount of money ever bought a second of time. Tell you that kid's not even here yet, and there's nothing I wouldn't do for him. That's really sweet. Thank you. <laughs> Down to this country. Jarvis. Jarvis. All oh, these superheroes are getting to meet their parents again. Unfortunately, she has to do that again, I guess. Oh, God. Oh, no. What he does to you, that's enough. Uh. That doesn't mean you're useless. Different circumstances. This would be totally awesome. It's not totally awesome. Natasha, daughter of Ivan, Clint, son of Edith. Which one is gonna go? Oh, I hate this. Why didn't they just bring someone else with them? Because then they wouldn't be heroes. They have to be self sacrificial. An everlasting exchange. A soul for a soul. Gosh, that sucks because they both already lost everything except for each other. Jesus. Oh. Maybe he's making this shit up. Yeah, how do you know he's not lying? I mean, we know. I don't think so. Because right, he knows your daddy's name? I didn't. If we don't get that stone. Billions of people stay dead. I guess we both know it's gotta be. I guess we do. I love that they both want it to be them. <laughs> I'm starting to think we need different people here. Yeah! <laughs> you win. He's just gonna let her go? Whoa! Oh. Tell my family I love them. <laughs> this is more appropriate. Oh, that's super fine, old man. I love this so much, even though I hate this. Like, they care about each other so much. Oh my god! Mingo. The Red Skull said something about everlasting death. And that makes me think that anyone who was killed 
by this sacrifice wouldn't be able to be brought back by a stone. So that would mean, like, Gamora and um, Natasha wouldn't be able to come back. I'm not sure if that's what that line of dialogue meant, but that's how I interpreted it. Oh, gosh, I'm really going to need shawarma after this. <laughs> you got it, man. Dude, you've lost everyone now. You better name another kid after Nat <laughs> if you can get your kids back. So Nebula and Nat aren't going to be back. Are you telling me this actually worked? Oh! <gasps> Nebula is back, but it's the wrong Nebula. Clint, where's Nat? Well, they all knew that was a possibility. Some of them not coming home. Supposed to be me. Sacrifice her life for that goddamn stone. She put her life on it. She's not coming back. Well, I guess they answered that question. That sucks. But I guess in a movie where you're saving everybody, you gotta have some sacrifice. Did they get them all? Wow. Oh my god. What is Nebula gonna do? But the radiation's mostly gamma. It's like, uh, I was made for this. Yeah. You were made for this. Oh. What are you doing, you evil cyborg? No, Nebula. No. Ah, uh, no. Good to go. Yeah. How are you gonna fit that on your Let's hand? Would that just fit on like one finger? Years ago, we're just bringing them back to now, today. Don't change anything from the last five years. Oh, okay. Oh, so that was their plan. Okay. Freddy, do me a favor and activate barn door protocol, will you? Yes, what boss. What is barn door protocol? Okay, now I know what barn door protocol is. Oh, and you're shutting yourself in with Nebula. Okay. Take it off. Is she bringing them to the future? Oh. Snap your finger, snap your finger. And then kill Thanos. Okay, this movie's timeline is a little confusing, but I do have to say, they're explaining it really well. I just have no concept of like time travel in this world. And what did the people who die, they're back. What did the people who died, what's their experience been? Like, do they come back to a world where everything's kind of half shattered? I think it worked. Good job, Banner. Oh crap. Oh crap. Oh my God. And now all the infinity stones are here. You could destroy them. Just destroy them the same way that 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 Thanos did. Oh, Thanos, you're, he's gonna get the stones, right? No, he's not. They're gonna destroy them. Mammy, I hope you're liking this paw massage because <laughs> I am so nervous. Good job, Rhodey. You're amazing. You guys gotta go, and you guys gotta get that glove. Good job. Oh, something scary is about to happen. Oh, oh, I don't know what that is. Can't you use the stones? No, you can't. You can't because you're a human, and those are scary. Find the stones. Bring them to me. What will you do? Sit here. Wait. Oh. I was- Oh, you. You are just gonna sit there. And wait. Well, that's what he said he was gonna do. I'm just repeating it for you in case anyone missed it. Come on, Gamora. Okay. They better become friends. In the future. 
what happens to you and me. You become besties, and then you die. We become sisters. Come on. We can stop him. I really do love their relationship. <gasps> That's my man. Cap? You lose this again? I'm keeping it. I love that Tony keeps giving him back this shield. Gosh. So the Avengers campus is completely gone. It was a trap, right? Yeah. Just as long as we're all in agreement. <laughs> Let's kill him properly this time. This is awesome! I will shred this universe down and then create a new one. A grateful universe. That is so much worse. Gosh, this storytelling is great. I have to say, this really does feel like such an epic adventure because having already gone through a couple of movies where they've been struggling with all of the aftermath of Thanos' finger snap, this is going to feel... I hope they defeat him. I'm assuming they're going to defeat him, but I don't know at what cost. Oh, that's right. Barton never fought those creatures because they were attacking Wakanda. Oh, no, 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 Can you kill yourself in a different time or something? There we go. We got to, oh, some of the strongest Avengers. Here we go. Where are all the other, uh, other people? If they brought everybody back, there should be more people. Oh, but maybe they were brought back exactly where they were left, which means that most everyone was in Wakanda. Well, all the main people that we care about in this movie, not all the people of Earth. <gasps> oh God, that was a punch right to the face. No, 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 no. Oh, this is coming full circle. This is what he did to Thanos. Come on, come on, come on, Thor, get your hammer, get your hammer. <laughs> I knew it. <laughs> he has the shield and the hammer, the shield and the hammer. Oh my gosh. I feel like we already won. Oh! Oh my god. Okay, I spoke too soon about already winning. That was a really emotional journey. All my years of conquest. I don't care. Violence. Nobody likes you. Stop talking. It was never personal. What I'm about to do to your stubborn, annoying little planet. Mm hmm I'm gonna enjoy it. Oh. I'm going to enjoy watching you fail miserably and then dying. <gasps> oh, I thought those were the good guys. How? When? <clears throat> God, I was so happy just a moment ago. Captain had the hammer. Remember when Captain had the hammer? Can we go back to that joy? <sighs> Gosh, the willpower it takes just to get up to fight that entire army knowing you're not going to make that. You can't defeat them alone. Where is Captain Marvel? What? Captain Sam. Sam! 
On your left. Doctor Strange! Is this the Doctor Strange that already knows how all of this ends? Or is this a Doctor Strange that doesn't? T'Challa. Oh! Bucky, Groot, Valkyrie, Wanda! <laughs> Is that everyone? Like you wanted more? Oh, you wanted more? Oh, there's more, all right. Hello, Scott. Scott can't stay like that for long, though. He's gonna get tired. Scott, just smash everyone. Just smash Thanos. Avengers! Avenge? Assemble. No! Oh. <laughs> you all knew what he was gonna say there oh you'd think after watching every movie i would have known assemble this music is amazing was that mbaku it's everyone it's everyone is back everyone who died from infinity war oh marvel you are playing with my heartstrings how did they film this This is all one long camera shot. Oh, oh God. I mean, he was a bad guy, but still. Pepper fighting with Tony. No, no, give all me the that. Story you have the little together. one. I passed out because I woke up and you were gone. Dr. Strange was there, right? And he was like, it's been five years. Come on, they need us. What are you doing? I'm so glad Peter caught us up on what it was like to be finger snapped. Gamora? That's not your Gamora though. That's not her. Which is so weird to think about. I thought I lost you. <clears throat> Why? He's on your side though. You missed the first time. You missed it. You got them both the second time. <laughs> oh, I should not be laughing. Poor Quill. Seriously? Your choices were him or a tree. You want me to do this damn thing? Yeah, Clint has it. Get those stones as far away as possible. You need to destroy them. Can't you destroy them? You need to get them back where they came from. No way to get them back. Thanos destroyed the quantum tunnel. Hold on. Right. That wasn't our only time machine. Anyone see an ugly brown van out? An ugly brown van? 10 minutes. Get it started. We'll get the stones to you. We're on it, Cap. <gasps> she wanted to be with him at the airport, helping him, and now she's finally with him again. Oh, she's included in the fight. You said one out of 14 million we win, yeah? Tell me this is it. If I tell you what happens, it won't happen. Well. The ancient ones said you were the best of them. I, this whole time, have been thinking they needed to destroy the stones. They can't. That would create horrifying timeline breaks. Quit. Give it to me. It's like American football. <laughs> They're all passing it, trying to get to the end goal. <laughs> this is awesome. You took everything from me. I don't even know who you are. You will. Can you send him to like his worst memory or something? Can you do that? I remember when I totally hated Wanda and now she is so wonderful. Come on, come on, come on, yes! Activate instant kill! Oh, you're finally activating instant kill. He kept not wanting to do that in Spider-Man Homecoming. Come on, Wanda, come on, come on. Rain fire! Oh no, oh no, 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 nope. 
Good job, good job, good job. Everybody get under the cover of the magical sorcerer shields. <laughs> Peter is flying with Mjolnir. Oh my gosh. Pepper! Everyone's involved. Everyone's involved in getting this. Hey, nice to meet you all! Oh my god! I love that everyone's involved in this. Yeah, Thanos. Come on, Avengers. Assemble! <laughs> Although I think Avenge is just as good. I don't know how you're gonna get us through all of that. Don't worry. She's got help. Where did Valkyrie's flying horse come from? Was that on the ship with her? When when Asgard was destroyed? Right? Did they did he just destroy the, the magical time machine van? Ugh. No. Come on. I okay. You're not gonna have him win twice. Marvel. Nice try. Yes, yes, yes. Come on, Thor. You can do it. 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 I'm rooting for you. Uh-oh. <laughs> okay, so it's all going to plan still? I guess that's the kind of hope that Tony needed. Sometimes you just need to know you can still win in order to do it. What is Tony doing? How is he? Bruce was... And I am Iron Man. What the hell? What did he just... Did he just snap the armies away? <sighs> oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I think this might be my favorite Marvel movie. I mean, they're all pretty incredible, but there's just something special to this one. Epic. Amazing. Wonderful. Tony, are you okay? He needs a medic. What? He did it, sir. He did it. I'm sorry. Tony. Did they just kill Iron Man? Is Tony dead? Wow. He had the same goodbye in this movie as his last line in the, f in the first movie he was ever in. I am Iron Man. Tony's biggest fear was that all of his friends would die for him. And now he died for all of his friends. Wow. How do you go back to school after everything that's happened? Wouldn't all your friends be like five years older? Or did you just age five years to catch up? Everybody wants a happy ending, but it doesn't always roll that way. I'm hoping if you play this back, it's in celebration. So I thought I'd probably better record a little greeting in the case of an untimely death on my part. Happy. Everything's gonna work out exactly the way it's supposed to. I love you 3,000. So Dr. Strange knew this was gonna happen. <sighs> that sucks. <laughs> that is so cute and really sad and sweet at the same time. Gosh, I thought this movie was gonna start with a funeral and it's not, it's ending with one.
Aunt May. Gosh, they got everyone here. Oh, the pins. Where's Gamora? T'Challa. So this is a goodbye to all of them, I guess. At least until phase four. Who's that? Was he that kid from the Iron Man movie? <gasps> Fury! Was that that one that Tony built that um, garage for? You hungry? Mm-hmm. What do you want? Just for credits. Just like Tony wanted in Iron Man. You know, your dad likes cheeseburgers. <laughs> well, that's because they're amazing. I'm going to get you all the cheeseburgers you want. Wow. This movie's been so epic. Now that Tony's dead, I don't think it's my favorite movie anymore. But it's still pretty great. You know, I'd make a lot of changes around here. <laughs> I'm counting on your majesty. Can you just do that? I'm sure the people would be fine with it. I mean, if he's been kind of MIA for the past five years. The first time in a thousand years, I, I have no path. I do have a ride, though. Move it or lose it, airbag. As Guardians of the Galaxy back together again. As Guardians of the Galaxy. I love that. Just so you know, this is my ship still. I'm in charge. I know. I know. Should fight one another for the honor of leadership. Sounds fair. Uh huh. No, not necessary. Not, there shall be no knifing one another. Everybody <laughs> knows who's in charge. <laughs> Me. Oh, sweetie, if you had to say it. <laughs> of course. Of course. Of course. Okay, I really hope that he's in the Guardians of the Galaxy 3. Oh, friendship. Don't do anything stupid till I get back. How can I? You're taking all the stupid with you. That's a good line. I don't even have a favorite line from this movie. This is so great. Took us so many movies to get here. But it was worth it. Oh, because he has to take the hammer back to Asgard. Okay, so he's kind of just putting everything back to a reset. And returning in five, four... This is going to be crazy. Why don't we get to see any of this? This could have been its own movie, taking everything back. Where is he? I don't know. He blew right by his timestamp. He should be here. Well, get him back. I'm trying. Get him to hell back. Is this setting up for the next movie? Is this going to be a freaking cliffhanger? Did you just lose Captain America? <laughs> Don't tell me we're losing Tony and Steve. Cap? Hi, Sam. You went back. So did something go wrong or did something go right? <laughs> he knows. Well, after I put the stones back, I thought maybe I'll try some of that life Tony was telling me to get. It was beautiful. And I'm happy for you. Did you get the girl? That reminds me. Okay, maybe this is my favorite movie. <laughs> what does it feel? Like it's someone else's. It isn't. Good for you, Sam. So they are setting this up for the next movie. That's why it's yours. You sneaky guy. You want to tell me about her? No. <laughs> Peggy was married to somebody else and she had kids. So did he just rewrite that? Snuck in there before her new husband was able to meet her, I guess. Good for you, Steve. I had a date. Did they finally have their date? Just when I think I'm done crying. 
The fact that I accidentally watched Captain America first in this whole journey. And so I started this journey with him saying I had a date. And now we're ending with him having that date is just way better than I could have originally planned it. <laughs> like, that is amazing. Good job. The Russo brothers did amazing on this. The screenplay was wonderful. So that was it. That was epic. Well, Josh Brolin did a great job, even though we hate Thanos. He was a great villain, I gotta say. This was an epic journey, and it was incredible. Definitely worth it. Oh, we got the main Avengers here. With their signatures. This is so amazing. This is definitely a first for me. I've never seen a movie quite like this. Because it's not really just one movie. It's years worth of movies coming together in a final epic story. Y'all did great. I love those OG Avengers. Captain America! Lammy, it's Captain America! Oh, I should have worn my Captain America shirt. <laughs> and Tony... Tony, you did it. So that was Avengers Endgame. I can't believe I've finished almost an entire year of watching Marvel movies with you. This has been so epic. And honestly, this movie did not disappoint. Everything was incredible. I loved how this movie completely stepped it up from Infinity War. I didn't think anything would be able to because Infinity War just seemed like the war to end all wars. And yet the fact that Thanos said right when he realized that he would never be able to defeat these people so long as they existed. You know, because I had said, can't they just keep going back in time? If they fail, they can just keep going back, fail, keep going back. And while they did seem to have the inability to create Pym particles without Hank Pym, I'm sure they could have worked around that the same way that they did when they went back in time to um, meet Howard Stark, which, oh, I'm going to get into that. Um, and they got more pin particles. So, you know, I think the fact that Thanos was such an intelligent vi uh, villain and was like, oh, if that's the way this is going to go, I'm just going to get rid of all life and recreate everyone, which was even more maniacal than I could have possibly imagined. Like, he was such an epic villain. I love that he stepped it up in this because it just allowed the stakes to be that much higher and the wins in this movie to be that much more exciting. Speaking of wins, Captain America was able to hold the hammer. That was amazing. <laughs> oh my gosh, I was not... I thought when the hammer was moving and going towards Thanos that it was Thor that was reaching out for it. I had no idea that that was actually Steve picking it up. And that was that was such a good fake out, you know? I <laughs> The fact that we've already seen the hammer being used before we even know who it's being used by... And then it was Steve and I screamed. <laughs> so, <laughs> and then almost like a moment later, it's terrible again because it looks like they're about to lose. So I thought that this movie had such incredible battles, the highs and the lows. It was never too high for too long. It was never too low for too long. They really knew how to create a really brilliant and balanced roller coaster of emotions. And I really appreciate that because from an audience perspective, I had the time of my life. I also love the fact that this movie wasn't completely action filled. We get those beautiful moments where you see Natasha is truly heartbroken. She's learning about Clint and the fact that Clint is going off and hunting down people that he doesn't think should be alive anymore. He's just kind of getting out his anger and taking it out on hopefully bad guys. And then Natasha and Steve have that really beautiful moment where he offers to make her dinner and she says she's fine. I loved that they kept a consistent pace throughout this entire movie, regardless of whether or not it was a more intimate and emotional scene, whether or not it was an action-packed scene. They did have these beautiful moments where characters were obviously very heartbroken and really just talking about what their lives had been like since everyone had died. And yet it didn't seem slow. This movie did not seem like a three hour movie. It just went by so fast. And honestly, I said at the end of this movie that I could have had more. I would have loved for there to have been another 
movie where we watch them take back all of the stones to the different times. I mean, they could have done something with that, but I, I just love the way they ended it, how it just kind of all wrapped itself up very beautifully. So this was lovely. I love that they got to go back in time and Steve basically got to see Peggy again, which then of course makes him realize he can go back in time. I did not expect for him to go back in time. I figured since they were consistently saying that they had to bring everyone into the future and you couldn't change the past, that they were just kind of not going to go near that storyline. Plus, Peggy had already had a husband and kids, as we learned in Captain America Winter Soldier. Steve went to the museum where he learned all about Peggy's life. So because they said that you couldn't change the past, I just figured that he couldn't rewrite history. I'm not going to think about that too much because I loved their ending. So I don't really care if they are allowed to change the past. If they're not, I don't care. I love it. That's how it is. This is how their story was. And Peggy and Steve, best love story. But I do have to admit, Pepper and Tony are incredible as well. The fact that Tony got to meet his dad before he was even born and and Tony got to hear how much he mattered to his dad. Oh my gosh, that was so beautiful. And Thor, Thor got to see his mom again and her beautiful advice to him about the fact that everybody fails at who they think they're supposed to be. I mean, how true is that? I think we all start off with visions of how our lives are supposed to be, just like these superheroes, and you end up just kind of figuring it out along the way <laughs> and uh, just kind of growing into the person that you need to become as opposed to the person that you thought you were supposed to become, and that's a beautiful part of life. This movie was filled with so much wonderful advice so many beautiful moments I loved it there's I mean I honestly my head is still reeling from it there's not enough positive things I can say I don't think there's a single part of this movie that I didn't like even the fact that Natasha and Tony are lost to us now those sacrifices the weight of them is is not lost on me I think that those were beautiful sacrifices that make part of this story worth watching because we know that not everybody makes it and it wasn't this like fairy tale happy ending but at the same time we really came full circle they brought all of the characters back and then they killed off two of the original characters which I was not expecting them to do I it didn't occur to me that when they said that they were going to be able to bring everybody back that not everybody would survive and at the same time I don't know. I just feel like the way this movie ended, it was supposed to end that way, if that makes sense. And Tony was always this guy who, from the very beginning, I never would have expected him to be so self-sacrificial. And then even Steve was like, you're not the guy who's going to ever lay it all on the line and, and, you know, be the one to sacrifice themselves for everybody else. And then we saw him do it in the Avengers movie where he brought that nuke out into space. I don't, I don't think he, pro I don't know if Tony would have grown up into the man that he is today if it weren't for his relationship with his dad and his relationship with Captain America. You know, all of these people, they really seem to feed off of each other in a really realistic way within this world. Their relationships were so great. They really did feel like a family. And the fact that they said that Natalie... I mean, Natasha, what's her name? Gosh, <laughs> the fact that Natasha only had the Avengers to rely on. It makes sense that she would sacrifice herself so that they could all live. Metal, metal clinking, metal. What did that mean? Was that it? What did it mean? Lammy, what did it mean? The metal clinking, the metal. The only thing I thought of was Thor and his hammer. I mean, honestly, I can't say enough good things about this movie. There's a part of me that just wants to keep talking about it forever. And then there's a part of me that wants to go get some shawarma. And I think I will. Y'all wanna go get shawarma together? Let's do it. Here we are at the Avengers Campus in Disney's California Adventure. This is so cool. We are getting shawarma from the Shawarma Palace. This is the official place to get shawarma if you are a fan of the Avengers. 
and I have to say this was delicious. They gave me a really lovely coconut dipping sauce to go with it. It was a little sweet. It kind of balanced out the spicy, savory flavors of the shawarma. This was the perfect comforting meal to have after such a long journey. It took us 23 movies to get here and I just had so much fun. And here is my recreation of the Avengers shawarma post credit scene. I hope you had as much fun on this journey as I did. Thank you so much for being a part of this journey and I will see y'all next Friday. Bye. Happy birthday. So good.